Welcome back to another video, everyone. My name is Kyle. I'm a full-time futures trader and founder of the Power Trading Group. This video is a quick overview, a quick recap of the Autopilot Trader Weekly Performance. We've been doing these videos every single week, just kind of giving an update on the Autopilot Trader. That is the bot that we currently have set up on NQ Futures. This is a fully hands-free bot. So basically, you plug it into your trading view. Trading view generates the signals that get sent to our third-party signal processor and then the third party signal processor sends it directly to your broker and executes the trades entirely hands free you don't have to monitor it you don't have to watch it you don't want once it's set up you don't have to do anything except pretty much check it at the end of the week make sure everything is working properly we just released version number two so v2 is currently out if you are an apt user check out the automation tab within the traders think tank for all the information on actually getting updated getting set up and make sure making sure that you're locked in with the updates there there are some action items that you need to look at and actually do on your end to make sure that it's going to be working properly this week you have full instructions there in the automation tab of the traders think tank Here's the performance this week. So a couple of things I want to look at this week. Uh, the performance, it was a positive week, profitable week. I'm not going to go through every trade. It is working properly. I'm not seeing any issues with the trades that are being executed. We did have some hiccups there on, let's see, I th it was Monday, Monday into Tuesday with the AWS issue. So we did have some hiccups there, but for the most part, it was working as intended no problems. We did add some filters. So if you caught the last video where I'm talking about version two coming out, we added some filters and some different settings that you can actually work with with the autopilot trader. Uh, it's still trading the two hour trader framework strategy, no matter which settings you use. So the strategy does not change. There are just some different parameters that you can kind of tinker with to kind of get different results and what we did was we actually created a risk calculator so you can go in this this is on the website i'll post a link in the description below but you can actually go this is all the info about the risk calculator but you can actually take a look at so i have this directly on the website this is available for everyone if you kind of want to get a sense and and you can tinker with different account sizes so say you have a $25,000 account and you want to trade 12 MNQ, this is going to tell you what your annual return is going to be. So with our most profitable two-hour trader framework strategy using the autopilot trader, which is the five-minute PT1BE strategy, you're going to look at a $74,000 annual return. Your return on account percentage is 298%. Mean drawdown is $12,000. So we ran this through a Monte Carlo risk analysis, which basically reorganizes all of the trades within the back testing and gives you it, it gives you 1000 iterations and then it shows you the mean drawdown and then the 95th percentile drawdown, which only happens in about 5% of instances. So trading 12 MNQ contracts is a little bit risky on a $25,000 account. We can see that in 5% of instances, you do have a $20,000 drawdown. So there is a 5% chance that you do have a drawdown of that magnitude, which is pretty large compared to the account size, right? And so the reason I wanted to make this is so that everyone can get a real sense of what the risks are with our particular account size and the number of contracts that they want to actually be trading. The reason I wanted to do this is because I was getting a lot of questions about what size cert certain accounts should be traded at, and I wanted to just provide it so everyone can see how much risk they're putting on the table based on the back testing data that we have available. Everyone's risk tolerance, especially for something like automation, is gonna be different my risk tolerance is not going to be the same as yours and yours is not going to be the same as anyone else's. We all kind of view this differently. And so this gives you an objective way to look at, you know, how much risk do we have out there? Uh, I, I was speaking with one trader who's using APT that was trading one mini on a $5,000 account. So let's look at the risk, $5,000 account and one mini is going to be equal to 10 MNQ. We can't trade 10 M and Q with most most of the strategies here, but let's just look at nine. So 
look, annual return is nice, don't get me wrong, but you pretty much have a guaranteed chance to blow up that account if you're trading one mini on a $5,000 account. It's crazy. That's crazy. Your mean drawdown, so your average drawdown, mean drawdown is $9,000 with 9 MNQ. Understand the risk here. Understand the risk. It, it's tempting to want to put maximum size in with automation, but drawdown is real, not just in automation, but in discretionary trading as well. If you've been trading for any length of time, you know drawdown is real. Something that we try and minimize, but even profitable strategies are profitable strategies are going to have some aspect of drawdown. So you can take a look at this. I'll post a link below. It's fully interactive. You can read what all the different terms here mean. Uh, let's jump back into this week's performance. It was a $4,800 week. This is trading three minis. So three NQ contracts, we had a 2.25 profit factor for the week, 75% profitable trades, 12 total trades. Great performance, right? You can see it's not purely vertical, but we closed out the week strong. There, there was a really, really nice trade on Friday to close out the week. Look at this. And I wanted to show this individual trade because in last week's video, I had mentioned that the trading view backtesting is not perfect it's not going to give you an exact exact look at what the strategy can do but it's good for kind of a, a broad overview of what the strategy is capable of and the reason is is because it's not going to give you pinpoint accuracy with entries or exits so currently if you are set up for apt we can see long entries through here right and the way apt is going to enter is it's going to enter right through here where that circle is now we can see on the back testing the back testing actually entered up there so we're talking about an entry between 470 and 487 okay that's almost 20 points in difference between uh entry prices based on the back testing that trading view does and the actual thing. So the actual thing that we have set up, the actual strategy is going to enter with a 20 point better entry. Now look at the difference in exit. So first exit for the real deal is right there. First exit for the back testing is up there. Second exit is right here. Second exit for the back testing is up here. Right. Third exit is out right here. Third exit for the back testing is right here. So there is a little bit of variance there, which in this case is not making a huge difference, but you can imagine over a large enough sample size, it's going to, it's gonna, it's gonna be taken out of trades that otherwise may have been held on to. And in some cases, it's going to be hold on holding on to trades that otherwise in some other instances may have been stopped out of. So a little bit of variance there, nothing that is super significant, but this, this kind of gives you a good idea of what that difference is actually going to be looking like. When we take a look at the actual account that is trading the two hour trader framework that I have set up, we can see is pretty close to what the back testing shows. We're looking at a PNL of $4,390. Now I do want to mention that we did have some issues Monday, Tuesday with connection. And then for part of Tuesday, I actually did have it disconnected. So I think it may have missed one or two trades, not too concerned about it. Uh, Tuesday was when I was adjusting some things for version two getting ready for the rollout the launch which took place this past friday and then monday we did have the aws concern so i think there there were a couple of trades that were missed on the actual broker side of things but this is what we're looking at it was a green week four thousand three hundred and ninety dollars really nice this is showing a, a 60 percent hit rate so we love that and that's pretty much an overview of the week it was a profitable week Things are looking really good. We got version two rolled out. We have the risk calculator set up. This is available to the public so you can take a look. The autopilot trader is going to be increasing in price on November 1st. So if you have any interest in this, I would recommend jumping on it before November 1st. It's currently at our launch pricing of $2,500. We're doing a tiered pricing system because this is my first go with 
offering any sort of automation to our community. And I knew that there were going to be some hiccups with onboarding and things like that. So we wanted to give the early adopters a discount while we kind of work through some of the hiccups that we knew were going to arise with launching this thing. That price point is going to be jumping from $2,500 to $5,000 on November 1st. So again, if you have interest in this and you want to get set up with an annual license for the autopilot trader, jump on it, jump on it before the price increases. You can definitely trade prop firms with it. You can trade a live personal account. You can go a number of different directions with APT. You have all the information available on the website. I'll put some links down below so you can take a look at that. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out directly or just leave a comment below this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.